Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dr. Silas coming to you with another review. I know I've been printing them out a lot lately because I've been getting a few new stuff. So, um, anyway, this review is going to be on um, uh, Band Presto trunks, regular trunks. Um, I saw this on Amazon the other day. It looked freaking amazing. So, I decided to pick them up. I'm actually looking for the box art for it. So, I can show. Oh, here you go. This is the box that it came in. Uh, nothing crazy. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, pretty much just chunks in his, what what he's doing right now. Nothing extra about it. This figure's I think I said it from Bay and Presto, but anyway, I think it came out last year. It's been around for a little bit, but saw him recently. Amazon only had like five left, so I decided to hop on it before you know before it wasn't um, uh, before I couldn't find him anymore. Um, this guy was about I think twenty bucks. I mean. You guys can see he's pretty cool for 20 bucks. I'm gonna bring in a closer view um, in a little bit, but for 20 bucks, you can't go bad. Uh, you know, they're definitely a lot cheaper than the, um, than the Figure Art Zero line, but the reason why is because the Figure Art Zero line looks so detailed and um, uh, so cool. But this is definitely one of the more detailed ones I've seen. All these figures come completely apart, so it's not like the other ones that you have to, that comes together. This one, you actually have to arm him like his, his sword i think was came it comes apart um and his whole body so anyway bring a little closer view of the details of the kit sorry okay uh the only complaint is that the jacket's a little too, too baby blue for me it would have been cool just to have his um uh, regular jacket but hey i'm not complaining he comes with the stand, obviously, because he won't be able to stand on his own. This is a full statue, not a uh, action figure. So the pose is pretty cool. You know, he's pretty. I like that it's like an action pose, and his detail on his face is really, really good. Real angry, real, real official looking. Um, his shoes are, are pretty on point. His sword is on point. It's pretty good, you know. Sturdy figure, just like the, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that I reviewed. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. It's definitely going to look good on display next to the other trunks. Um, the other trunks, it's um, uh, it's a Super Saiyan. So, you know, it'll definitely look good together being that this is regular trunks and Super Saiyan trunks. I actually have the other one. I don't think I've reviewed them. But, uh, I sh you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to get them so to put them side by side. Hey, guys. So, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to go pick them up and um, review them real quick. So, this is the SH Figure Art Zero line. As you can see, uh, this one's a lot more expensive, especially now he's all sold out. So, you freaking can't find them. Don't buy them for expensive price. Just wait. I'm pretty sure he'll get re-released. But anywho, um, um, as you can see, this guy's more detailed. There's a few differences here and there. Like, for example, trunk sword on this one is silver versus this one, it's uh, copper. To be honest with you, I don't remember exactly what, uh, what, what color the sword is. But anyways, the jacket, obviously, you see the difference in jacket. Um, this trunks is a little bit more detailed. It obviously, has a super, he's super saiyan, has a super saiyan a force field around him. And, the, and as you can see, the... The 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 well, I'm not a big sword buff. The seat or the whatever where you store the sword, um, it's different colors. But besides that, everything else, all the other colors is pretty cool. You know, it's cool to have it uh, displayed but side by side. And you know what? If you're a good painter, you can paint this jacket to make it look like the original one. And that I think will look great if you was to do that. Um. But yeah, this guy is awesome. I, I like this one a lot. It's probably one of my favorite one next to Vegeta. It's really, really cool. But this thing I like a lot. I mean, this guy was 34 bucks. This guy's 20 bucks. So, you know what? It's, it's, it's a good deal. If you could get this guy, especially if you have this guy, put them next to each other, it looks pretty freaking epic, you know? Let me see. You know, the only thing I tell you, don't overpay for these. Just wait. They eventually get re-released you know um but again i don't think i've done a review on this one i mean they're they're all out there so i probably won't unless you guys want me to 
but uh, I just want to show you guys a comparison. And again, I like the idea. I'm definitely want to have enough space to get to display both of these together because I like the fact that you know they both have their swords drawn, and this is regular trunks and this is Super Saiyan trunks. So it's like you know, if it wasn't for the color differences, you could probably say, oh, he turned Super Saiyan right after doing that. Which is cool. Again, it's cool. I like it. Little differences here, there, but for twenty bucks, you can't go bad. Now, this one, um, you could get it for the original price of thirty bucks. Jump on it. Again, either one is great. The stance on this one is good. This stance is just epic because it's like um, replicating uh, concrete and stuff. Um, but yeah, and, and by the way, wait, do these? Yeah, these Super Saiyan Mark. These. Um, things come loose do they you know i'm not gonna mess around wait you know what yeah they do Hold on. so you don't have you know what? i'm not gonna break them because i'm breaking them be sad you don't have to have them display with this i think look it up first but anyways okay this is pretty much it for the review guys i hope you enjoyed it any questions comments please uh leave them below and i'll see you guys next time